Hey gang, so we are building screens for our bus windows. Uh, this is something I feel like a lot of people talk about on all the forums, and we found a super simple way to do it. It's very basic, you don't take any windows out, none of that. Just basically attach them to the front. We have two of them here, and they're just held on by magnets. Our nice iron support beam here, so they just pop on and off. It's just a sticky back on this mag this magnet strip. And then these little guys down here are just to seal up against the windows on the top and bottom so bugs can't finagle their way around the screen. And then all you do is open your window and then pop those on there. Good to go. Bugs out, people in. All right guys, so here's Lynn's. She is assembling the aluminum frame for the screen. Super simple. Uh, if you look at the little plastic corners, these little guys right down here, it says to subtract one and a half inches from each dimension, so your height and your width. And that way it accounts for the, those little corners. So we are currently doing, uh, what is it, 28 and 5 eighths long by 12 inches tall. And so we adjusted our measurements, so I cut a whole bunch of pieces ahead of time so Lynn's could just assemble this and show you guys how it goes together. So we just press these fancy little corners in. She's got three of them, this last one, just super simple. They just pop right in there, ready to go. On the back side, you got your fancy little groove right here that's gonna take the spline. That's this jazz. All right. Let's get some screen cut and uh, we will go from there. So this is super simple guys. All you do is you lay the screen over the frame so it overlaps on all sides. Give yourself a couple inches to work with. Uh, no point in scrimping on this part. Just cut it to length. Lay your extra screen over to the side. spline out so she's just starting with getting that little spline the little end started in there always a tricky job getting them started once you get that guy you're gonna grab your your splining tool that fancy little gipper which uh, we bought all these things at Home Depot super easy to get in any home improvement store and uh, this actually, the screen actually came in a kit, came with the splining tool, extra spline, the screen. We did have to buy the metal frame and the corners, but um, kind of nice they do a kit where everything is included. So you just roll that guy back and forth. So as you can see, that spline is nice and flush down in there. And so you're just gonna attack these corners and pressed in there and keep moving along one important thing to note here guys is that when you are pressing the spline into the little channel there it's important to try to keep your screen nice and flat and square um, so you don't get any wrinkles in the screen nobody likes seeing wrinkles in a screen you know that's just not attractive for anybody Okay guys, so we got one of the short sides and one long side done, so now the tricky part is trying to keep it just a little bit taut while you roll your spline in, and that's going to keep all those wrinkles out of there. When you press the spline in, it will pull the screen kind of tight, so you don't want to hold your screen super tight because then it'll be too tight. So it's kind of a delicate balance, it takes, a, it takes a little bit of finesse and uh, a little practice, but after you've done one or two, you kind of get the feel of it. So once you get to the end of your spline, and you're just about done. 
you want to cut it just like a quarter of an inch short. All right, so we're just about finished here. We got the spline in, screens in. Now we just have all this excess part to cut off. So you're just gonna take your blade and put it right up against the rubber spline there. And just drag it across there. Now it looks like it's not cutting, but oh, look at that. Look at how it peels off all nice and clean. Last portion is to put on our magnet tape, which helps the stick onto the metal parts in the bus. Gonna lay it down here just to get an idea on the length. Get some nice heavy duty tin snips, makes it cut real easy. They say you can use regular scissors, but I don't know, tin snips seem to work a little smoother for me. We've got our fancy sticky uh, weather stripping tape just to fill in a little gap on the top and bottom. So one side sticky, just like the magnetic tape, the other side not. All right, guys, so we have our screen. Pull the uh, curtains back. Drop our fancy window down. And people and cats in, bugs out. So that's how it's done. Super simple. All right, guys.